My name is Dean Dillon, professional songwriter. I don't think I chose to become a songwriter. I think, you know, songwriting chose me. I started at seven years old and it's all I've ever done. Do I have a creative process to writing? Uh, not really, I just look for a great hook. As long as I can find a great hook, uh, it's a pretty safe bet that between me and whoever I'm writing with, we're gonna hammer out something. You know, it may not always be great, but that's, you know, we try. But yeah, finding a great hook for is, is uh, the trouble these days, so to speak. You know, I still, I still love writing great songs. I do, and, that, and, and you know, chasing that to me is, uh, it's why I get up and do what I do every day. It's, it's trying to say something that, you know, changes the world, that makes a difference and it matters. And uh, without that, I really don't, you know, obviously I'm 60 years old now, I can't write 120, 200 songs a year, so I just go after what I think the best one is and, and uh, try to hammer it every time. I feel like I've got a lot of songs that were never popular that I love, you know, and a lot of my fans love, and they never were big hits, and probably never will be big hits. But uh, to me, at the end of the day, when I when I know I've had, you know, when I know I've given my all and 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 wrote the song the best that I can write it, or whoever I'm writing it with, you know, when we've done our job. That's the best feeling in the world to me. Anything past that's just gravy. Yeah, I was under Fessler's Lane Bridge in Nashville, Tennessee when I heard my, uh, one of my songs on the radio, my first song on the radio the first time. Pulled over and tears come out of my eyes. You know, I never had experienced anything quite like that. Pretty crazy. I think aspiring songwriters, the best advice I can give them is don't quit. I think uh, in the beginning, a lot of people have a tendency to give up too quick or to get stuck and, and can't move past that point. And the way to do that, I think a lot of times is to walk away from it for a, for a little while. You know, if you get stuck somewhere, take an hour or a day or a week off from that song and then go back to it. And uh, I know it, it, it's worked for me in the past. You know, I still love to play as, as compared to, to writing. I love them both. I like to get out and tour. Um, but songwriting to me, I mean, that's my life. That's all, you know, I live, eat, sleep, breathe songs. I don't have to go play a show. I get to go play shows, which is just uh, icing on the cake, I guess. But to me, the, the, the songwriting end of it, without it, I, I don't have much of anything.